Welcome to the mod filling video. When using liquid oxygen, these precautions should be taken. Never allow liquid oxygen to contact your skin. Keep liquid oxygen away from oil, grease, or any contaminant. Do not transfer liquid oxygen on asphalt. No smoking, open flames, or ignition sources within 50 feet. When filling the mods, please use these suggested safety items. Safety glasses and face shield. Cryogenic gloves, cryogenic apron, earplugs, and covered shoes. In order to fill the mods, you will need a VGL with medical grade oxygen, cryogenic fill hose with Essex Cryogenics female fill coupler on the end. Remove the Essex Cryogenic hose, harness, and female filler valve from the case. Remove protective caps from the harness. Attach the fill harness to the liquid side of the VGL. Ensure the vent valve is pointed downward. Wrench tighten your fitting to the VGL. Remove the dust cap from the female filler valve. Ensure all valves are free of contaminants and moisture. Mate the filler valve to the mods by locking it in place. Open the front access door and ensure that the vent tube is free of kinks and contaminants. To begin filling the mods, the VGL pressure should be between 30 and 50 PSIG. When pressure is too low, open the pressure building valve. When pressure is too high, close the pressure building valve. Open the VGL's liquid valve. This begins the liquid transfer process from the VGL to the mods. The mods can take up to 60 minutes to become completely full. While filling the mods, maintain a pressure of 30 to 50 PSIG by adjusting the pressure building valve on the VGL. Once a steady stream of liquid is coming out of the vent tube, the mods is full. To stop the flow of liquid into the mods, remove the valve and replace the dust cover. Ensure the VGL's pressure building valve is closed. Close the VGL's liquid valve and open the fill harness vent valve. Stay clear as some venting will occur. This concludes the mod's filling process.